हे फिज्ञान यू वट्स अप हव यू वेलकम टू फिज्ञान विच इज फिजिक्स ज्ञान नो द रीजन आई एम हेयर टूडे इज बिकॉज वन डे माई स्टूडेंट केम टू मी एंड शी सेट दैट शी हेज नेवर रियली बीन एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मोमेंटम एंड कनेटिक एनर्जी नो दैट इज वेन आई रियलाइज दैट या मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हैव दिस कन्फ्यूजन नो I understand that you have the formulas you know what is momentum and what is kinetic energy you know one is a scalar one is a vector but you have never really been able to understand the difference i mean what exactly is momentum what does it mean and how do you apply that in physical world so that is what i am going to try today by the end of this video i hope you all have a very clear understanding of momentum and kinetic energy so let's start with momentum versus kinetic energy now let me begin with the term momentum what is momentum now it is the quantity of motion an object has quantity of motion and this is the definition that you will find on the net also whenever you type momentum the first line that you'll get as a result is same it is the quantity of motion an object has now what is this quantity of motion like i know motion i know displacement i know velocity but what is this quantity of motion that is the problem with students the formula is mass into velocity hmm okay let me try to make you understand this further let's say there was a feather which was flying towards you now you won't hesitate to run towards the feather because you know it's just so harmless a feather right but now think about this there was a fire truck which was very slowly coming towards you now you'll run for your life if there was a fire truck coming towards you why is that why do you have this sense of understanding in your brain like this is something hardwired in you right you have this sense what can hurt you and what cannot how is this is it the mass now let's think it through okay i accept the feather was light and the truck was much 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 heavy but if it is only mass then how can a bullet which is going with a velocity of 700 meter per second hurt you because the mass of bullet is only 20 to 40 grams so is it the mass or is it the velocity it is the product it is m into v which matters which tells you you should run or you shouldn't yes this is momentum this is the feeling of momentum the quantity of motion a body has now let us talk about the change in momentum and now i i remember that you have heard about this you know that newton's second law said that delta p by delta t was equals to f net right net external force was equals to the rate of change of momentum so if there was a body moving with a velocity v let's say the mass was m the momentum is mv right so it says that the rate of change of momentum which means delta p becomes f net into delta t what is this f net into delta t see this thing like this thing is what change in momentum right if let's say you had a p final and you had a p initial so this is just the change in momentum what is this thing i know it is called as impulse right yes so whenever there is a change in momentum there should be an impulse because without an impulse momentum cannot change it will be wrong to just say a force because it is the product of force with time 
that is important right okay now what is kinetic energy you would say that kinetic energy is the energy that an object has due to its motion energy that an object has due to its motion remember what momentum was it was the total quantity of motion a body has now when you say that energy that an object has due to its motion and you know the formula is formula is what half mv square right and it's a scalar quantity and momentum was a vector quantity because velocity is vector here the velocity is squared so it becomes a scalar quantity so kinetic energy is the total energy a body has due to its motion now there was a theorem which talked about change in kinetic energy what was that it was work energy theorem it said that the net work done on a body is equals to the change in kinetic energy of the body now the net work done on a body could be because of two forces internal or external internal forces could be two conservative or non conservative in non conservative you can put friction in conservative you can put let's say gravitational or electrostatics so if let's say on a body there was no internal force only external force the work done would be f dot d right d is the displacement and this is equals to change in kinetic energy so imagine i mean this this case is in front of you let's say there is a mass m and you apply a force f right you displace the mass to a distance d which means you apply the force for a distance d and then you release the force what will happen now that there is no external force whatever velocity the body has achieved it will keep moving with the same velocity right the energy this body has right now is half m v square okay so what now what is the difference between kinetic energy and momentum this is what i have been waiting to tell you because till now you have all the tools that you need to understand the difference now take a case let's say there is a mass m which is traveling with a velocity v it has a momentum mv right here you have a mass m which is moving with a velocity v it has a kinetic energy half m v square right to change the momentum what you need is an impulse so let's say at this point there was a force f which started acting in the opposite direction right so this body came to a halt in time t right so what is the impulse the impulse is f into to stop the motion to bring the body to a halt to change the velocity from v to zero you needed an impulse and the impulse is force into the time it took to stop the body now think about kinetic energy let's say the body is moving with a velocity v it has a kinetic energy half mv square at this point let me change the color of my pen because i think it will be difficult for you to see in this uh okay so let's say at this point there is a force f same force acting in the opposite direction this time what will happen is to change the kinetic energy of this body from half mv square to zero this force will act and the work it will need to do is let's say d the work will come out to be minus of fd now let's just forget about the sign here because it's negative work done but focus on d what momentum is telling you momentum is 
referring to the time this force F has taken to bring the velocity to zero right it is talking about the time you can understand this dp equals to f dt when you integrate them it is the integration of time and in the case of kinetic energy what it is talking about it is talking about that this force f how much distance the body moved before coming to a stop which means it is referring to the distance that the body moved before coming to a stop velocity changed from v to zero the distance moved or you say displacement moved right the displacement move would be d this is the clear difference same force momentum is referring towards the time it took to stop the body to change the momentum from v to zero to change the velocity from v to zero and the kinetic energy is talking about the distance the body moved before bringing the kinetic energy to zero before stopping the body to zero velocity so this is the clear difference between momentum and kinetic energy and i hope that from next time you'll never have to worry about the difference like what is momentum quantity of motion this is quantity of motion right so i hope this is clear and i'll keep coming with some new videos some new concepts for you to learn until then bye bye now if you like this video and you want me to bring you more videos then subscribe my channel and share it thank you